Though Phase 4 of the MCU's theatrical rollout has already begun with Black Widow, I feel as though Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is where the new era of Marvel truly starts. This film shows just how confident Marvel Studios has become in its capacity to make billions at the box office. Not only is Shang-Chi a completely unknown comic book character to even some of the nerdiest of convention dwellers, but he's being played by an even less well-known actor. Kevin Feige is making a big swing with this film, and though I'm still not certain it will pay off financially, it's certainly going to pay off critically. Shang-Chi really is a very unique film, and stands out completely among the canon of the MCU. It has the iconic Marvel Studios Ident at the start, it has its various post credit scenes and it's got a cameo here and there from various Marvel characters, but really Shang-Chi could stand on its own as a completely original superhero film. The action is unlike anything I've ever seen in any film from this universe. Every single fight sequence is exhilarating and pulse pounding, and they only increase in excitement as the film goes on. The fight in the bus from the trailer is quite early on, and the film has you completely hooked from that point and never lets go. Simu Liu is the man that makes all this action possible. His history as a stuntman shows transparently through all the fantastic fight scenes, though despite his background he's also able to act well too. Thanks to Liu, Shang-Chi is a charming and intriguing lead protagonist and is never lacking in any parts of the film, even the more emotional ones. The same goes for Tony Leung as the film's villain, Wen Wu. He's a fantastic and extraordinarily compelling antagonist to Shang-Chi. Wen Wu has a lot of depth and a lot of the time doesn't even seem like the villain. His relationship with Shang-Chi is fantastic and a perfect driving force for the plot. Though there were parts where I thought he was being portrayed as stupidly oblivious, these doubts were put to bed during the final act when this character has some phenomenal moments. Obviously Leung is fantastic in the role, but I'd expect nothing less from such a veteran actor. I do have the same issues with Shang-Chi as I do with a lot of Marvel films, the humour. Thankfully there's not any moments I can think of where a dark or sombre moment was ruined by a joke, but there were still some moments where I thought the humour took over slightly. Surprisingly Aquafina, while still being the comic relief, does have importance to the plot and her jokes seem more like a character trait rather than Marvel needing to entertain the children in the audience. However, Ben Kingsley does make a return in this and is a bit of a letdown. All of his lines are just silly jokes and a wildly variant regional English accent that don't really add much to the film. He too does have importance to the flow of the story, however, but he could easily have been replaced by a different, less obnoxious character. Shang-Chi is a brilliant superhero origin story. It's fantastically directed, written and scored. It's thoroughly entertaining with great action and an intriguing story. It embraces the character's culture and its cinematic history without being overly pretentious about it. It's yet another example of Marvel's magic touch. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings gets a date score of 8. Happy dating, you loners.